My name is Adam Proctor. I'm a designer, practitioner and researcher at the University of Southampton Winchester School of Art. So this is a brief intro to my current research that revolves around a web science PhD and hopefully give you an idea of uh, what I'm trying to achieve in that uh, and you know, welcome comment feedback on this. So digital tools for teaching design education are currently broken. They're fundamentally broken because they are based on the paradigm of transforming the office into a paperless environment. And this paradigm has uh, permeated all software that we currently use in the files and folder structure that we see. And also uh, is now the structure we see in many of our digital tools designed to support teaching and learning. I don't think any of them work. And I think the answer might be in reimagining the interface for those tools still on screen, but looking at ways that we can maybe use something called spatial hypertext to reimagine how learning objects work together. This is born out of an uh, interest in design education, and particular design education that revolves around the studio based practice. So, in a studio based practice, design education really is the case of getting you know, a group of uh, students or a group of researchers together to uh, thrash out a problem or work through a project in collaborative manner. So they come into a room, they run through some exercises, maybe in design thinking, where those um, conversations and the sharing and the knowledge base builds. And this studio culture you know, is embedded in art and design schools for hundreds of years, yet our digital tools in no way uh, augment or supplement that. At the very best, they are purely uh, repositories for files related to projects and thinking. So what ends up happening is that uh, often tutors will use the repositories for the basic information and students will then use their own personal learning environments to capture material in a digital form related to that project. But that material is often siloed, sometimes it's housed in systems that don't respect the ownership of that data. Uh, and doesn't allow the, the studio environment to extend out into a digital tool. So that's why I think a spatial hypertext system, which is open for free use, that is available for users to contribute together collectively into uh, a space that visually maps out the learning objects in a way that allows you to draw connections and to make uh, commentary to find serendipity in the browsing of those collections uh, is something that could be really interesting. So my plan within my PhD is to make um, a number of test digital sort of art artifacts and minimum viable products that try out this extension of the studio into a digital tool through spatial hypertext. And so this will be built on obviously the open web, uh, the system uh, and the software would be uh, free software allowing users to change and modify the code and to enhance it for their own distributions. Um, alongside that digital tool or set of tools that are tested, I'm also going to build a uh, delightful design manifesto, which will be a manifesto that gives an overarching theme and feel for how tools might want to be built if you are considering creating you know, new digital tools to teach design education. So this is the general plan of the project. I hope that gives you a little bit of an overview you know, and welcome feedback and comments.